Topic of this tutorial video is how we can manually add UFT agent in Google Chrome browser. Also, how we can manually add UFT agent in Microsoft Edge browser. That is the topic of this tutorial video. I will hands I will give hands an example on this topic. this is what i will show first i will show how we can add uft agent in google chrome browser manually that is what i will show first i will open open i i will open google chrome browser so google google chrome browser is opened also google search engine is loaded on the browser now in the search engine, I will write UFT agent. Once you write UFT agent, it shows some suggestions. This one from micro focus link is a DM help. This is the one I will have to choose. I clicked. Once this page comes left side, I see there are four options. One for Google Chrome, other one for Mozilla Firefox, other one for Microsoft Edge, other one for Microsoft Edge Legacy. If we, if this one is not selected, then I will have to make sure this one is selected or this one is clicked. Just for overshare, I will be clicking one more time. Clicked. Now if I scroll down, I will see manually install the extensions. I have two links, one for UFT version 24.2, other one UFT version 23.4. So, so there are two links, I will be clicking this link, the second link. Now if I click on add to Chrome, it will be added, but I will have to match my UFT version with the UFT agent, both has to match. Now how we can match, if I scroll down and click on see more, I will see if the version is between 2023 to 23.4, any version between this range, I can use this link. If the version 22 series means any version that uh, starts with 2022 point some number. 0 0.0, 0 0.01 or something or if it is a 15 series like 15.00 or 15.01 15.02 then i will have to use this link now how we can check the uft version i do not have uft installed in my local computer uh, in my in my local computer, I do not have UFT, but I have UFT in a virtual machine. So if I go UFT, this is UFT. It is also called UFT IDE, UFT One IDE. That is a, that is also the name of this. So this UFT is open. If I click on Help, click on About UFT Unified Functional Testing About HP UFT. If I click. I will see version is 12.53. If I go to this list, I see there is no link for 12.53. That means this version of UFT cannot be used to test web applications in Microsoft Edge, I mean in Google Chrome browser. In Google Chrome browser, I cannot uh, test any web applications 
uh, using this version. This version can be used to test web applications in Internet Explorer, not Google Chrome. Uh, the oldest version which can be used is 15.0 or 15 series. So let's say on my local computer, I have 15.0.2. Just imagine that I have UFT, uh, which version is 15.0.2. Even though on my local computer, UFT is not installed, but I'm just imagining that I have UFT version 15.0.2. If that is the case, then I need to use this link. This link. I will not be directly adding. If I directly add, then there will be, there might have some uh, object identification issue. I may see web applications are identified as window instead of browser, page, link, web edit. Instead of, instead of all of those, I may see uh, web pages are identified by UFT as window. If this version isn't version and UFT version is not matched. So again, I'm just uh, imagining that I have UFT 15.0.2. That two is here. That version is installed on my local computer. Therefore, I will be copying this link. Right click, copy. I'm adding a new tab and pasting inside of the new tab of Google Chrome browser. Entering, enter, pressing enter key from the keyboard. Now, it says uh, this extension may so soon no longer be supported. This one is not supported. Version 12.53 is not supported. This is the oldest version. 15.02 is the oldest version which is still supporting. But at any point of time, this one also may be moved to the archived group. That is what this uh, is saying. But I'll, I'm just imagining that on my local computer, 15.0.2 is uh, installed, therefore I copied this link, pasted inside of a new tab. Now I'll be clicking on Add. So Add to Chrome, Add, it is adding, it got added, it is asking for uh, synchronize from other browsers, I will not be using that. Now, if I go to extensions, I can see this one just added. This one just added. This this one, this one just added. It wasn't before, just added. Now it is also enabled. If I go to the details, um, if I go to the details and choose pin to toolbar, then it will come up here. It came up here. I'm going to the previous. Now, this is where I can enable it or disable it. Right now, UFT isn't. UFT isn't. Is installed and enabled in Google Chrome browser as extension. Now, I can disable it. I can click here. It got disabled. Even though it is installed, but it is disabled. Uh, again, I can enable it after clicking here. So this is the process. Uh, I'm clicking. I'm closing. I am closing Google Chrome browser, and I will be marking this green. That means that means I manually showed hands on how we can add agent in Google Chrome browser. Now I will be showing how we can add Google Chrome browser. I mean, how we can add Microsoft UFT agent in Microsoft Edge browser. That is what I'll be showing. I'll be showing how we can add UFT or Unified Functional Testing agent in Microsoft Edge browser. So for, for that, I will be opening Microsoft Edge. Bing, Bing is loaded. Bing, Bing homepage is loaded. So I will be, I will be putting UFT agent. UFT isn't, isn't, enter, 
the website has to be micro focus a dm help this is one so i'll be clicking on on the left side there are four options i will have to make sure microsoft edge is selected because the the browser is microsoft edge therefore uh, this one has to be selected so i'll just to be double sure i'll be clicking again now if i scroll down i see there are two options i'll be these are the version names uft1 version 23.2 20 i mean 24.2 and 23.4 i will be choosing this one i click here it is compatible with your browser but i will not be directly adding i will have to first make sure that uft isn't version and uft ide version is a match for that i will be clicking on show more now i can see there are more options if my uft ide version somewhere between 23 2023 to 23.4 in this range then i will have to use this link if uft version is 2022 series means if the if uft version starts with 2022 or dot some number this one this one version is 12.53 there could have versions that number is 2022 point some number so if that is the case if that is the version then this link has to be used if the version is 15 series means uft version could be 15.0.0 or 15.0.1 or 15.0.2 then this is the link i will have to use so i'm just imagining even though on my local computer uft is not installed but i'm imagining that uh, I have UFT installed, which version is 15.0.2. That is the UFT version is installed on my computer that I am imagining. Therefore, I will have to use this link. So I selected the entire link, right click, copy. I will be adding a new tab and paste here. now it is compatible with your browser so i can click here because it is matched uh, uft ide version and uft asin version version are matched so i'll be clicking on get it says add extension so i'll be clicking on add extension this is uh, showing it is saying that micro focus uft agent has been added to microsoft edge so i'll be clicking on close now if i go to extension i can see it is added if i click here i will see that is showing up here also now if i right click and manage extensions from here i can disable it so if i click here it will be disabled it will be removed it means uft agent is installed in my browser in this microsoft edge browser it is installed but disabled it is installed but disabled that is what it means if i click again that means it is installed and disabled i mean installed and enabled so uft must uft agent must be installed and enabled to make uft ide work on this browser so i have showed this one also hands on so I'll be changing the color to green. That means I have gave hands on tutorial 
how we can add manually EFT agent or unified functional testing agent in Google Chrome browser as well as Microsoft Edge browser. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.